Hello guys, welcome back to part 3 of my Demon Souls Platinum Walkthrough Everyman's Guide. If you remember from the last part, we had just died in 3-2. We had just died in 3-2. We have to die here two more times. Two more times. So, what we're going to do, we're going to quick slot the eyes. We're going to quick slot them briefly. And we're just going to die twice. There we go. We've actually died here in total, in body form. We've died here three times at the moment. We need to die two more times. That will put us at above 90, minus 90%, which will make the Black Phantom peer. And we're actually we're actually completing 3-2 in pitch in pitch black. I mean pure black. At the same time, we actually go through it for the first time. Anyway, it just it just sort of kills two birds with one stone, rather than having to go through it twice. So we're doing that here. I'm just warping there to update the will tendency because you normally have to warp to update it. And we're just going to die one more time, guys. And that should be the one. So we've died in total three times from body forms, from bosses. We died three times here. And we've also died two times using the eyes. So, I actually warped to the wrong place and we want to actually warp to the Prison of Hope now. Yeah, so Prison of Hope, guys. And we'll make our way from here. So, as you can see, we're likely in pure black now. Yeah, you see the particle effect on the actual icon there. Particle effect, yeah. And we should have Flame Toss and the Cloak. Right, so you need to be very careful now, guys. Enemies will do a lot, a lot more damage. Make sure you unquick slot the eyes so you don't accidentally use them. You're going to need them for later. Yeah, so you need to be very careful now. <laughs> enemies will kill you very quick. But the enemies here ain't too bad. It's just them um, octopus things and mind flayers. And if you get them before they're in sort of aggro range, you can sort of kill them before they get a chance to attack you anyway. Um, but first, we just want to go into hyper mode, which is minus 30%, lower than 30% health. And we want Cliff Ratch Ring equipped and Ring of Magical Sharpness. I think what I'm going to do in the next part, I'm going to do all the clear up at the start of the guide, rather at the end of the video before. Right, I'm going to open this door, just because there's enemies in here that will attack you. And we're going to use them to bring our health down. So we're going to equip the Buckler Shield, and we're just going to block with that. Yeah, these guys with the swords... Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna let him attack me just to bring my health down. There we go. Until the rat icon appears. And once that rat icon appears, that means you are in. Well, that means basically the clever rat's ring is become active. Right, so just like normal, we're going to cloak, flame toss. Because there's an enemy here. Should take two flame tosses in hyper mode. Oh no, sorry, one. <laughs> One, yeah, do a hell of a lot of damage. Hell of a lot of damage for this. Through here, remember this one here. Got it. Right, that should be it for now. No more, no, no more of them to kill for the time being. We're gonna free Sage Freak now. We're gonna free him. And that's why I didn't come back earlier to do it because we're gonna free him at the same time we kill the black phantom so he's just through here and it's this third cell on the right I believe yes there he is hey sage you're free buddy you can go back to the nexus and uh, yeah we've got a trophy there a dash of sage and we've got jerry stiletto yeah you can go back to the nexus now mate and um, craft me some magic later but first of all guys we're just gonna come down here we're gonna kill the black phantom and do three two first so down here, once you get to here, now be very, very careful now. There's one of the Mind Flayer enemies. And you see the red guy over there? That is Rydal, the Black Phantom version. He doesn't really have any magic. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to keep casting magic. Make sure you've got full magic when we go to engage him. And we're just going to keep moving back and basically firing while tossing flames at him. There we go. Just keep doing this. If it gets too close, start moving down the side of the cells where he came up. 
There we go. Just keep moving back and toss some flames. Yeah, fairly easy. He can't really dodge. He can't really dodge in this sort of narrow path. Well, sort he can sort of. He'll try at times, and sometimes he will succeed. Just be careful. Oh, oh. <laughs> Unlucky, mate. You hit the wall. You hit the wall, Red Hill. He wouldn't have caught me anyway. And one more. And there we go. We got him. We'll grab the phosphorescent pole from him. Phosphorescent pole, even. We're not going to use it, but um, we'll grab it in case you want to use it at some point. I don't know why I collect collected them. I thought I thought that was from the um, mine flare I killed. I thought that's the um, spice that they drop. So you don't need that heavy... You don't need the um, crossbow. Right, so we kill the Black Phantom. Make sure you kill him with magic and not with your sword. Because if you make him bleed, it won't actually count as a proper kill towards your character tendency. So we're just coming around him. Again, we're just going to keep an eye on him as we walk away. Just to make sure he doesn't shoot magic like that. Right, he shot it. Come out here. Make sure in cloak once you come out here, because it's one of them tough enemies. You don't actually have to kill this one, you can quickly get past. But it's nice, easy souls. There we go, one and a half thousand you'll get. So, it's nice, easy kill. Right, so that's everything we've done in 3-1. Now we're going to head to where they've killed the boss, and that will warp us up to 3-2. I'm just going to walk for a second, because I'm just taking a cup of coffee into my hand. Just helps me relax. Quite tense these games. I need something to help me relax. Calm my nerves. Yeah, so we're heading into 3-2 now. And the boss on this, the man eaters on 3-2, they're probably in this guide, in my in the way I'm doing things, it's probably gonna be the hardest boss we're going to encounter. Just because what I'm doing now, I'm leading us up to this sort of spell and a build which makes us able to kill almost all bosses in one or two hits and this is probably the only boss where we can't really do that yet and it's quite difficult just due to that so yeah the man eaters they are a little bit difficult but once you got past them every other boss you can be confident that we can probably we can cheese them all we can cheese them all now whatever you do do not warp guys do not warp you're okay to die but if you warp your wield tendency will update and we don't want to update it yet. So you've got to do all this wield in a one -er without warping anywhere. So you're going to do exactly what I've just done. 3-1, um, come straight to 3-2, don't warp anywhere. You can you can interrupt the archstone, just so if you die you do spawn back there, but do not warp using it. Not even don't even warp to the same archstone by clicking on the same one because that will count and it will update the wield tendency. Right, so through here. We're not going to kill any enemies, absolutely no need. We want to make sure we stay in hyper mode. Which remember that's minus 30% health. There's nothing to collect for the time being. Um, we're going to be running around a lot of enemies here. We'll be doing it to a lot of enemies. There's a few which we will kill. There's a few, but... Um, yeah, most of them will just run past. So before you come to this bridge, make sure you've got a cloak fresh and active. So if, we color, if you currently had to cloak, go in, wait for it to wear off, and then activate it again before crossing this bridge. Up here, take the right path here. I know that's where the enemy is, but take the right path. If you take the left path, you normally get caught in the pots, and rolling through them will slow you down a bit. Make sure you sort of zigzag when you're coming along this bridge, because some of them gargoyles do have a crossbow, and they may shoot you from behind. So just zigzag, make sure the bolts miss you. Quicker come these steps. And once your cloak wears off, turn it on again when it's safe to do so. There's a gargoyle right there. Because if you don't turn cloak back on, all these gargoyles will save you. And once you come up here, guys, just block. Because sometimes there's this gargoyle hanging around here. There he is. But as long as you've got a cloak active, you can sort of run straight around and he won't follow you up. So, yeah. That's it. Just be careful. If cloak ran out, he may follow you up here. We just got to kill all these enemies now. These four enemies, don't worry, they're harmless. We've got to kill all four of these. And then the chain will break. There we go, that's one of the, that's one chain down, one to go. 
Right, so through here next, down these steps. And we'll grab these spice here. There we go, fresh spice times two. And we're going to drop down here. And we're going to grab the archstone shard. And we're going to free Yurt. And we're going to knock him off. We're going to free him, say yes. Um, but don't actually attack him. We want to do what we did to Ostrava. Um, so unequip something in your right hand so you can be barehanded. And just headbutt him again like we did with Ostrava. You need to try and headbutt him off. It's not too difficult. Yeah, you may do that by action. Just be careful. If you hit him too many times, he'll become hostile. So just be careful. And careful. Oh, is he going? Oh, he just walked off himself. You're careful. You don't fall off yourself when you try and headbutt him. I have done that before. Right, once you killed him, we're just going to save and quit quickly. And what that will do, that will respawn. That will spawn this item just near his cage. We don't need it, but just in case you want it, guys, it's his armor set. There it is. The set of gloom. Right, into this lift afterwards. And while we're waiting, let's equip your weapon back. What have you unequipped? Silver catalyst for me. Half cloak ready. We'll be using it again shortly. Yes, hello. Good morning. And here we are. The swamp. The bloody swamp. Right, so we need one ring from down here. And basically, where the cage opens to, the direction, so not behind it, but the direction forward in front of the cage. No, no, don't send me back up! <laughs> No, I didn't want to go back up. I'm hoping saving and quitting will leave me down there. Yes. Okay, so basically where the cage opened up, in front in front where it opened, you want to just head sort of right along here. You see that sparkly in the corner? That's a fragrant ring. We don't need that because we started with one as a royalty class. But if you want a fragrant ring, that's it there. What we need is the sodden ring. And it's over here. And it only appears... In pure black tendency but first before we come around here we're going to engage cloak come behind here and grab this ring this is one we need sodden ring and then we need to head back just be careful this dude find magic at you back through here guys and back to where this sort of um cage was it sort of came down but i sent back up by accident Yeah, so it's actually come back down now by itself. There's the cage. And um, right, now engage cloak. And these enemies here, you can quickly run past them if you're quick and you've got cloak engaged. There we go. But you want to take a left first once you come up here. Take the left first. Keep cloak engaged and then none of them should follow you. And once you get up here, turn to your flame toss and toss some flames. Now leave that, leave that big enemy, you want to kill these two here first, before they come aware of you. In hyper mode, two flame tosses should kill them. That's it, once you've got them, you want to kill this big thing yet. Well first, even, the prime evil demon. It should drop a colourless demon soul. It may not, it's not 100% drop. But grab a colourless demon soul if it grabs one. And grab the plague resistant ring from this corpse here. Plague resistance ring guys right we've got the colorless demon soul we're going to engage cloak again guys and we need to be quick that primeval demon it does increase your world tendency by the way yeah they do increase your world tendency and we need to be quick here you may have to this enemy might be difficult to get across he may be sort of blocking your way so just be careful coming up here if you're worried just use your flame toss and kill them you can normally just cut across here Escape that one and get behind this one. And when you get here, you want to wait a minute because your cloak will probably wear off in a minute. Yeah, there we go. So turn it back on. And I'm going to quickly run up here now. And we'll get through that fog gate. Oh, almost got me. Get through the fog gate there. And we're sort of safe now. There's no enemies for a minute. But we've got the sodden ring and the plague resistance ring. And that colourless demon soul. They're all the important things this level really we do get another ring a bit later um but once you get to these steps guys 
Engage your cloak and get your flame toss ready. There's one of them strong mind flares here. Yeah, there she is. And kill her before she gets into aggro range. That's a good thing about cloak. You can actually get into lock on range before enemies even notice you. Then make way appear, guys. Wait for cloak to wear off. And when you get to the top of steps, you want to re engage cloak. And these enemies here, it's. You can get by without killing them, but it can be tricky, so we're just going to kill them. Just to save a bit of, just to save getting ourselves into a troublesome situation. There's not too many, they're easy to kill. Yeah, so we're just going to kill these. A little baby one there. Not even the babies are safe for me. You've come down the middle here. There's some aged spice there, times four. And once Cloak wears off, re-engage it again. It, it wore off, that's why they were chasing me. Cloak is a very useful ability. Okay, I scared the lizard away by the looks of it. And this is some more, more fresh spice there. Right, once got rid of them, the reason we want to get rid of them is because of that red one there. You can sometimes, you can run past that red one, but it can be a bit tricky. Um, so especially to make sure nobody's following you, following you, and then just kill this one. If you don't kill them other ones, they can follow you and they can get you from behind. As you can see now, we've just had to sort of come into this area, and that is why. Right, so I'm just going to put that H spice here. H buy is a bit nicer to use because they refill more. Right, and before we head along here, we're going to engage Cloak, so I'm just going to wait for it to wear off, guys. There we go, and let's go. Be quick before it wears off, because otherwise these gargoyles will choose, well, they'll chase you, not choose you. Um, they're definitely going to choose you to kill. Uh, quickly come around here, grab a story to warrior soul. Be quick, so like I said, they will follow you around. And wait here. Now if any follow you, press start and save and exit quickly and you'll respawn back here and it would have reset them all. Oh look there he is. Yeah, I'm going to reset him. There we go. Yeah, a little trick to reset the enemies. There we go. Let's reset them all. And now we're just waiting for this um, elevator to come down. This one's quite a big elevator. It'll take a long time to get down to you. But it's quite easy to miss, so if you're looking away, it can sort of come down and go back up within like a few seconds. So it doesn't stay down for long. And when you get to the top of here, you want to engage your cloak again. You know when you get to the top, so it'll start slowing down. There we go. Just make sure you don't activate it too close to the top, because otherwise you won't get off in time and it'll... The lift will go back down. Right, so another chain, guys. I'm just going to kill these enemies around it. These, um... They're worshipping it. I don't know why. Worshipping a... Statue? A chain? It's a chain, isn't it? A gargoyles. I guess they're using their magic to um, keep the chain there. But you kill them, and it will make the chain break. And now we're going to grab a story to warrior soul. We're going to jump down, and we're going to grab this renowned hero soul. Careful you don't roll off, guys. And that is it. We've done everything we need to do here in a... Oh, hello. Why well, I see you following me. We've done everything we need to do here in pure black. And now what we're going to do, just before we head to the boss, and just do a bit more cleanup in this area, we're going to warp to the nexus. Yes, warp to the nexus, and that will update the world tendency as well. And we should have a bit of a bit we should be we should have plus twenty percent character tendency as well. Um where is she? Where's the maiden? I'll probably run past her. Sometimes she when you come out of an archstone, she sort of sat down next to the archstone you came out of. Right, so what we're gonna to wanna to do now, guys, first we want intelligence eighteen. So make sure you get intelligence eighteen first. Very important. You want magic memory to three. And yeah, magic intelligence 18. If you don't, if you haven't quite got that, you may have some souls that you can use. 
Don't use the um, don't use these these last three Iron Demon, Dole, and Colorless. Do not use them, but you can use the Renowned Warrior, Renowned Hero, and the Storied Warrior Soul. You can use them. In fact, I'm going to use them now anyway, just to get another level or so. There we go. Let's get another level or so. And what we're going to do now? Yeah, so we want magic on 31, guys. Magic on 31, and put the rest into intelligence. So there we go. Yeah, you should be on about that. You want intelligence 18, definitely, because you need three magic memory for this next bit. And magic needs to be at 31. 31. Um, yes, so that's it. Let's talk to Stockpile Thomas. And let's have a little clear up. Organize storage. Um, put that away, put that away. Yeah, we don't want that crossbow. I don't know why I picked that up. Uh, yeah, get rid of this. Get rid of that, get rid of that. And we'll take the cling ring f with us for a second. I'll explain why shortly. We I won't be using it, but just in case you want to practice this boss, you can equip that and then practice dodging the boss. Um, but we're going to talk, come here now, talk to Sage Frake, learn magic, and you can learn these two. Learn the soul ray and learn warding. And then attune magic, and you want to tune soul ray. So you should have flame toss, cloak and the ray attuned the ray attuned right and we're ready let's go and do the boss we're going to do two bosses in this part and we're going to have world three finished so upper latria and here we are guys upper latria and as you can see it's near pure white it's not quite pure white yet but it's near there Yeah, it's near there. So, um, but once we kill the boss here, it will be pure white. And once you get to this brace, you guys engage cloak. That's it. And have a flame toss ready. We're going to be tossing a few flames in a second. Sprint down here. And there's an enemy here that wasn't here before. There it is. One of them sort of um. I don't know what these are. Some sort of brain crab sort of thing. I don't know. But we'll kill that first. You can run past it. But it can be a little bit tricky because sometimes you won't be able to and it or like you'll just run off. Um, so it's very tight. Um, basically we want to let this gargoyle knock us down into critical health now. So go into hyper mode. Just keep blocking his attacks. Yeah, he has got one lunge which does a lot of damage. So it's safer just to block all his attacks with the buckler. Because... You can let him hit you with one of them, but if you get the wrong attack and he gets the attack, with, with one of the attacks will basically kill you in one hit. So um, it's best to just block them all. We want to get into hyper mode. Almost there. There we go. And don't just turn around straight away. So make sure you get somewhere safe. That was close. You almost got me there. We're not running off. Yeah, once you're into hyper mode, we can turn around and sort of run away once safe to do so. And uh, you want to loot this body here. Got age spice times two. Go into cloak. Put cloak on. Yeah, just going to kill these enemies. We're going to come down here. Make sure you've got cloak engaged. So you can kill all these before they get into aggro range. Yeah, so once killed him, we want to kill that gargoyle next. I was waiting for that other enemy to um, die properly because his carcass actually gets in the way of flame toss. So I'm just going to wait for Cloak. It's about to wear off. Cloak, yeah, it lasts for about 30 seconds. Lasts for about 30 seconds. Now, there's an enemy there and there's one just in it, but this one is closer. So get this one first. There we go, just lure him out. And if he's not chasing you, you can leave him. And we're going to come in here. And we're going to kill all these enemies in here. And do, we're going to grab all the loot in here. All the loot. Epirapia and the gold mask we've got there. The gold mask. You can actually um, trade that for colorless demon soul. And ring of avarice, very important. Storied hero soul. Another storied hero soul. Uh, 
Stone of Ice. Another storied warrior soul. And that is the last enemy in here. I think it's another storied warrior soul here. Yes, there we go. Right. And we can head up to the boss now, guys. That's all we needed. Really, it's a ring of avarice there. And we wanted the gold mask because you can trade that later for colorless demon soul if you want to. And we're just going to head all the way up to the top now, basically. That place we just went to then, we didn't come earlier because it's actually blocked off earlier. You know the two chains we cut? Well, then, when you cut them two chains, obviously it makes the sort of um, heart fall down and you can actually get in there then. I don't, I'm not sure exactly what happens. Um, I've not actually watched the cutscenes in this. One thing I do like about Souls games, well, I like a lot about it, but I like it that they don't really... The game's not sort of filled with cutscenes. It's just sort of pure gameplay, isn't it? The Souls games. They're very nice. I'm just making sure I've got full magic. I'm going to need it in a second. Because that's one of them strong Black Phantom Mind Flayers. When we come up here. There it is. There it is. Walking away. Once you get reasonably close, engage cloak again. Make sure you engage it before you're in sort of lock in aggro range. And then kill it as she comes down to you. Two flames you need to toss. And that should kill her. Right, and that's no more enemies now until the boss. Right at the top of these steps. You see, we only got 1,000 souls then. But when we killed one earlier, we got 1,500. It's actually because we're not in impure black. You get 50% more souls. Once you get to the top of steps, guys, turn around and come lo along this narrow... Oh, no. Oh, shit, that was close. Yeah, come along this narrow ledge. And there's a storied... Is it a warrior soul or a hero soul? Oh, warrior soul. Yeah, I think these give you 2,000. So it's a nice... It only wastes like 10 seconds and it gets you 2,000. So I consider them worth it. Worth it. Right, here is the boss fog. But we want to head all the way to the end here because there's eight aged spice on a corpse to collect. We're just all the way around there it is, there's the item. There we go, eight aged spice. Right, now this boss is probably, like I say, it's probably one of the most difficult bosses in this guy just because after this boss we'll get sort of a build where we can cheese every boss but this one you have to sort of just go with it and learn it sort of um, I'll try and walk through it as we go along but make sure you press options open your inventory so if you do die just quickly hold the PS button close the game and then load it back up and that will put you back before the, fo fo um, the fog gate make sure, got, make sure you've got a full MP going in and we're going to be using Soul Ray guys and we're ready. So first of all, you have to, if you can manual aim and sort of hit him as you get to the bottom of the steps, you can sort of get three hits on him. There you go. And then you sort of try and dodge him. When he crouches like that, he's going to do a lunge and you need to roll to the side to avoid it. But only attack once at a time. Only attack once at a time. When he does that sort of echo thing, you need to roll forward or back to avoid it shit and you need to be quick because his mate will come in in a second yeah sometimes they sort of just glitch out like that right we've got him his mate will come now there he is yeah so just got to get the timing right guys the lunge is probably the worst, the worst move to look out for if you get close, I normally try and punch a ground in front of them. And if they do the echo, like I say, you have to dodge forward or back to avoid it. Whoa! I accidentally press the button again then. There we go, that's the sort of echo. You need to dodge forward or back to avoid that. Camera angles are a bit annoying here. 
And uh, yeah, that AI, they will sort of fly around a bit. I've got no magic left, bloody hell. Yeah, the AI is a bit annoying. Whoa. Almost rolled off then. And we got him. Now when you've killed him guys, quickly equip your Ring of Avarice. There we go. And you'll get more souls. You want to do that on every boss now. Ring of Avarice basically gives you more souls. So on every boss, when you've defeated him, quickly equip it. There we go. We got 18, 3, 2, 1. I'm surprised I killed him first time without having to um, reload. Um, so once you kill them, you want to grab these, uh, some actually grass here. Grab that in case you need it later. Come over here. Yeah, so that boss, just one thing I will say quickly as well. You've got to learn this moveset a little bit. That's why I've got a cling ring. You may just want to equip the cling ring first, refill your health and go in and just try to dodge your attacks first. You need to kill that first one quick before the second one appears. And sometimes you can... Well, not sometimes, you can actually bait them around this. You need to watch out for their lunge behind this because it will normally follow through and it will catch you. But normally if they do a lunge, you just dodge away where he's uh, lunging. And you've got Cloak active. Sometimes when you stood behind this, they lose sight of you and they turn around and walk off. And they can get a few shots in their back. But I actually find it a bit easier on the narrow paths down here because when you're in this sort of circle arena, it's just, I don't know, it just seems difficult to know where you're dodging a lot of times I just dodge or I get too close to the edge I just find it better on the straight bit rather than the circle circle platform but on the circle platform when you're trying to make them lose sight of you they'll just fly all over the place and it just makes the fight take too long so um, I just do it that way so you want to loot this corpse after to get the renowned warrior soul and the legendary legendary warrior soul and we're just going to walk back to the nexus now level up a bit and then we're going to come back and kill the boss 3-3 three, three boss and um, here she is she's ready for me this time so soul power yeah so you want magic on 31 if not already and then you want you want intelligence on 24 so it's on 23 not quite there yet and you want to get intelligence to 24 guys you let them then want to put by that vitality up to 15 so magic 31 Intelligence 24, Vitality 15, and then we can start pumping it all into magic again. Right, now guys, now we need to actually go into 4-1 quickly, and we need to die. I may, you may notice I've got a few more souls there, that's because I accidentally went to 3-3, three, three. I actually forgot about this bit for a second. Yeah, we just want to die here now guys, we are in body form, and we need to die here. Because later we're going to be coming through here in pure black as well. So yeah, just get killed now. Oh no, I'm bleeding. What am I going to do? Oh, never mind. Yeah, I'll come back for you, skeleton, Mr. Skeleton. Yeah, when I come back, we're going to one-shot all of them skeletons. Before they even notice us. Right, so once you die there, guys, grab your um, souls back. Yeah, do not die in World 3. We're pure white in World 3 now, and we want to keep it that way. So, do not die in World 3. So, once you die there, obviously, like I say, you got your souls. And we're going to go back to World 3 now, World 3-3. Three, three, and we're going to engage the last boss of World 3, the old monk. Right, once you're here now, guys, as you, as you can see, we're pure white, pure white here now. And make sure you are offline when you come into this bit, otherwise... You have an online boss to face. So yeah, make sure you're offline. Kill this first enemy here. And the next one, we want to let him reduce our health. Just be careful. Because when they attack you, do they do actually damage your equipment. If you can bait the lunge, that's probably best. There we go. We're in critical. Get rid of him. 
you have to be careful because if you let them they do an attack when you're really close where they lift up their front feet sort of pivot on the back feet they lift themselves up in the air and then they sort of hit you with um, a big attack which will heavily reduce the wear the durability on your items so just be careful if they do damage any of your items then rather than go back and repair them just hold the PS button and quickly close the game right so just be careful because one of them black phantoms up here so that's the fourth enemy I've killed and you want to engage cloak just just after you kill that fourth enemy because after that fourth enemy there will be one of these black phantoms and you want to use soul ray on her because it's got a longer range and you want to try to keep her far away otherwise she'll fire a soul ray back at you uh, let's keep coming up and there's actually one more yet yeah there's actually one more of them black phantoms yet So I'm going to engage Cloak again. There it is. Just like I say, be careful. Because you don't quite kill it as quick as you did before. And she may fire some magic back at you. There we go. Whoa, whoa, no. Yeah, so be careful. I thought she was going to catch me then. And if you're quick, there's a lizard up here. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to collect it because I don't really need it. Oh, I may as well. I may as well collect him. Yeah, once you kill this boss, there that lizard's easier to get from this archstone in here. Right, so before you pass through the boss fog, make sure you've got your MP full. And you can put cloak on because sometimes the boss won't see you then. You want to use sorrow for this guy, so make sure you've got 100% block shield equipped. And as you can see, you can't see me because <laughs> I've got cloak active. So you want to try and keep out of melee range and watch out for his magic. He will use soul hour at a time, so don't just spam your magic. You need to watch out what he's doing before he cast. And watch out for the orbs, because they can lock in on you. He actually can't see me right now. Oh, you see, he used his own magic then. Yeah, and watch out for them orbs. If you can get Cloak again and get a good distance away, he'll lose sight of you. And he'll go back to where he started his spawn point. Oh no, he found me. He found me. Yeah, he's lost me again. Lost sight of me. There we go. We got him. And just like before, quickly equip your Ring of Avarice. Quickly equip it and you'll get more souls from defeating him. There we go, 32,604. And that's because I've got a silver bracelet equipped as well. Right, we're almost ready with the build we're going to use for the rest of the game. Um, so, interrupt the Archstone, you get the Golden Demon Soul next to your agent. That agent, it basically lets you warp to any Archstone from any Archstone, basically. And rather than having to go to Nexus, Nexus first. So we're all done here now. That's everything we need to do in 3-3. There is a pure white. Um, there is a pure white sort of um, thing we need to do there. But we'll probably do that new game plus. We'll do that new game plus. Um, so, alright. First, we're going to talk to the Maiden guys. And we're going to level up a bit. So we want Intelligence of 34. So, we get, so that we get our Magic Memory to 4. Yes, very important. And we're also going to put our magic up to 35. Magic up to 35. And then we're going to put vitality up to 15 next. So intelligence 24, magic 35. And next we want to get vitality up to 15. So that is all we're doing for now, guys. You're going to do that. We'll go and offload on um, stockpile Thomas. And then the next level will be um, level 4-1. Um, but we're actually going to be dying in there next as well. So we're in body form at the moment. Yeah, so we get all these things away that we don't need. Yeah, get rid of that cling ring. I don't like to have too many rings because then it's easier to find the ring of avarice when you've killed a boss. You can put his colourless demon soul away 
you can put the golden demon soul away um, you can put the mixed demon soul away and yeah so you don't actually use them by accident yeah, you can put them away and we're just going to come over to sage freak now and we're going to learn the homing soul arrow there we go and we're going to tune magic and we're going to unequip the soul ray and equip the homing soul arrow so you've got the homing soul arrow cloak and flame toss equipped by the way um, and one thing i should have said at the start of the guide um, we're not going to be doing safe reloads on this. It's still going to be done in two playthroughs. It means we do have to kill an extra three bosses, but it's really not that bad, and it allows us to basically cheese every boss from now on. Um, so it won't be no safe reloads on this. It's annoying because without PS Plus, you can't back up saves. So if I've already got PS, if I've already got platinum on my main account, I can I can't actually do a guide on it. Unless I get PS Plus, so I can't back up saves. So it's not going to be no safe backups on this. But it's still only going to be like a little tiny bit longer. So it's not going to be too bad. And we're just going to die here now, guys, in body form. Going to die here in body form. And this is going to get us ready for the next part. So we're going to die in body form here. And... We die in body form and then we're going to update this world by warping back to it. So yeah, even though you're coming back to the same world, it will still count as a warp. And we're going to die here one more time. So we're almost in pure black. We're going to die here one more time in body form. So I'm going to use one of these. There we go. And we're going to die here one more time. And we want to get killed near the arch day now. You'll find out why in a minute. Make sure you get killed near the archstone. And we're going to update the world once more. And we'll be we won't quite be in pure black, pure black, but we're going to be below minus 90%, which will make everything appear that we need to. We'll make the black phantom appear. The black phantoms they don't appear in pure black, it's just before pure black. Um, you'll see now so warped back to the island's edge that's going to update the world tendency so not quite pure black yet but there he is there's the black phantom and we're not going to kill him next that's what the next part is going to begin with so we're going to warp to the nexus guys and that is it so the next part we're going to be doing world 4 we'll kill the black phantom satsuki and yeah that's it guys basically part four so we're what level soul level 36 we've got almost all the gear we need to um, just destroy everything in one or two hits um home and soul arrow flame toss and cloak that's probably what we use for the sort of next few worlds and we'll destroy everything really fast um but that's it guys for a part part three i'll see you again on part four guys take care and i'll see you next time